What's up, you sneaky bastards? Still no man here. Your number one source for dark side tech and tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be going over dark side's forward forward parademon and the mixed potential therein. Now, at first glance, it might not seem like the parademon would be a great tool, especially over this guy or even your standing forward parademon, because the explosive only does 20 damage. And the damage scaling is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. But, I took him to the lab and was experimenting with it. Just for fun, not really with the intent of finding anything. And I found a three-way 50-50 that you can do off of it. Now, the setup for this will, for me, it'll always be off of a down forward two. It's a hard knockdown, and you get out your trait. Now, before I go into the 50-50, or I guess it would be 33, 33, 33, since it's three-way. I'm going to explain how this parademon works. Now the way this works, he, when you detonate him, it hits in front of your opponent, so all he has to do is hold back and block it. Uh, the detonation, it sends him backwards. Pretty decent blaster, I guess. Now where the 50-50 comes into play, it is all dependent on our teleport. The time at which we detonate our parademon during the teleport will determine which side it hits on. So if I delay it a little bit, cross up. It, but if I input uh, the detonation for the parademon pretty much during the teleport, It'll hit on the opposite side of him that it should. And why this happens is because since we are inputting the detonation so soon and during the middle of the teleport, the game thinks that we are still on, for me right now, the left side. So it, your demon will hit as if you were on the left side. And it will send him that way. So the 50-50 comes from the timing in which you Detonate your prayer demon. Oh, and the third option is just to go for a throw. So, yeah. Let's say. Uh, let's just show the setup. 2 2, down forward 2, setup, and then into your combo. And even if they block it correctly, it's plus 48, you can go into some pressure, retreat, maybe go to zoning. Now I'm going to show how you can combo off of this. So, uh, there are many ways to do it. A couple ways meterlessly. Only one way that I've found right now that you can do it with the meter. And it's just to do a doom stomp. So let's try the first option. Throw one damage. Not bad. Especially considering how safe this is. And the second one for the cross up. This one's really tricky. I haven't got it down yet. Because uh, you might be able to do a jump forward doom stomp, or maybe, no. You might be able to do a jump forward doom stomp, but it's really hard. So I would teleport and immediately input a forward dash and then detonate. So, and then instant air doom stomp. Like that. It didn't pop up with the cross up, so I must have done it too late. Oh, I missed my incinerator. Yeah, this one's pretty tricky. <laughs> I will get it for you guys, though. Bingo. Oh, dropped it. Yeah, but you see what I'm getting at. Come on, let me do it. Bingo. Alright, still 301 damage. Pretty nice. Alright, and the throw, that's just the basic combo I showed earlier. You can use meter on it if you want to, to make it a little higher damage, but eh, I wouldn't really recommend it. Wow, why do I keep dropping that? Uh, 345 off the throw, not too great. 44 more damage at the expense of a bar. Okay. Maybe it is worth it. <laughs> now there are 
several ways to do this meterlessly. For instance, with a cross up setup, forward dash, 2 2, down forward 2. Or you could do forward, da oh. forward dash, down 1, down forward 2. Maybe, uh, say it hits and you weren't ready for it. You've got plenty of time to do a forward dash. And down 1, down forward 2. If you've got good reaction time. And off of the other option. Oops. I, I believe you can do 2-2 two, two down 4-2 off of the other option. Yeah. Well, you'll have to wait a little bit for him to cross over you. Alright, or down 1, down 4-2. Or if you want, you could just do a uh, Doom Stomp. I'm not sure if it would do more damage, but let's see. 147 compared to... One forty four. Alright, you get a little more damage off of the Doom Stomp. But it's a little harder execution, so I wouldn't advise it. And it gets even better if you have a background bounce, like on this stage because we can do something like this. I mean, something like this. 2-2, two, two, background bounce, back 3. Oops, mess it up. 2-2, two, two, background bounce, back 3. Jump 3 stomp. And there's 329 with the background bounce, meterlessly. And you can probably use a bar to get more. Let's try it. I'll try to do an instant air stomp, but yeah, that's about it. So, off of this guy, you can get some pretty dirty stuff, as you saw, seen. Ooh, grammar. Uh, if you're afraid that they might try to. Uh, let me put him on block. If you're afraid that after you get your hard knock down and call out your demon, that they might try to forward dash away from it or something. Just keep them in check with the Omega Beam or Meter Burn Omega Beam. And if they know the frame trap on the Meter Burn Omega Beam, they're going to respect it. So then just go for your setup. Alright, that's going to about do it for this video. Overall, uh, you know, Forward 4 Fair Demon is a lot more useful than. I had originally thought. I'm going to start using it a lot more myself. And I advise you to do the same, especially with this this dirtiness. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm going to insert some clips of some setups that I got with it. And, you know, some tricky stuff. Stuff you might want to try. Setups to do... Uh, about six and seven hundred damage. Yeah, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Dark Side content. You can't beat my channel for Dark Side. <laughs> Stay stealthy.